What's up guys and welcome back to a new video where we'll be diving into adding the notification functionality in Nova. Quick pause. Do you want to support the channel and want me to continue on creating content? Well, you can support the channel on Patreon right now where you get benefits just as a private Discord group where you can share your coding issues and other developers will help you out. If you are interested to join, the link can be found in the description down below. By default, Laravel Nova ships with a notification bell which is visible on the front end of your application right next to your name in the top right corner. Nova lets you completely free to implement whatever you want to notify a user with, right through the Nova notification class. Now let's say that for this example, we would like to notify all users that are registered into our database that a new user has been created inside our application. This could either be done right inside of the policy class, but I personally prefer to use an observer for these type of functionalities since a observer will basically group all of your listeners into a single class. Observers come with method names which reflect the eloquent events you wish to listen for. So it generates a class with all CRUD operations, where we could add a Nova notification on once a user has been created, updated or deleted. Observers need to be created through the CLI. So let's navigate to iTerm and let's run the PHP artisan make colon observer command and let's name it user observer. And we're also gonna add our model to it by saying double dash, model is equal to user. Keep in mind that we don't need to run a Nova command since a observer isn't a feature of Nova, but of Laravel itself. If we hit enter, you'll see that our user observer has been created successfully, which has been stored inside a observer subdirectory inside the app directory. But before we open it, let's actually make sure that we register our observer first before it could work, which needs to be done right inside of the app service provider, where we could either register our observer inside a boot method, or we could define a new private method right below of it whenever you want to work with multiple observers of private function observers. Right here, we will basically make a call to our user model which gives us access to the observe method. Inside the observe method, we simply need to pass in the observer we would like to use for our user model. In our case, this will be the user observer class. Now, before we could finally use it, let's make a call to our observer method right here by saying this observers. And now it's time to focus on our user observer inside our observer subdirectory right here you will find a couple methods that have been predefined for us in a time where the request has been performed. So once a user has been created right here, the created method will be called to perform whatever has been defined inside of it. And the same goes for updated, deleted, restored, and force deleted. The core functionality will be pretty much the same for all methods. So let's start off with the create method at the top. Once a user has been created, we got to make sure that we loop over all users inside our database, inside a for each loop. Now we're gonna loop over our user model, colon colon all, as one single u. Now through every user we are looping over to, we have access to the notify method. Well, let me actually rephrase that. The notify method is only available on your user object whenever you add the Give me one moment, right here, notifiable trait on your user model class. By default, a larva adds it on your user model. Now, if we navigate back to our user observer, we could simply say that we want to notify a user through the Nova notification. And we're going to chain the make method to it. Then we could chain a couple methods right here to define our notification. So let's start off by saying the message is equal to new user. Now let's concatenate, let's say our user object, which is right here, and we're gonna grab the name. Then we have the option to chain the icon method to add an icon, so let's say user. And finally, we're gonna add the type. So basically the color, which in our case will be success. Now let's test it out. Let's navigate back to Google Chrome. Let's create a new user, let's name it John Doe email of John Doe at hotmail.com. Password is something secret and the role is checked. If we click on create user, our user has been created. And as you can see in the top right corner, 
we have a new notification. If we click on it, you will see that our application has one new user named John Doe, which has been created 18 seconds ago. Now let's mark it as read and the red sidebar is gone. Now, since we are going to perform the same functionality for pretty much every method that we have defined right here, it won't be smart to copy paste our for each loop in every single method. I think it's the best to make a separate method for it that accepts a couple arguments of the content we would like to see different. So let's name it get nova notification. It is a private method. We need the PHP doc blocks. Let's refactor it. All right, let's scroll down right here. Now let's add a couple arguments of the content we would like to see different right here. We don't want the entire user object, but we simply want to pass it in whenever we make a call to our getNova notification method. We need a new message and we need a type. Then inside our for each loop, we're gonna change our message. So let's completely delete it. Let's say that we want to print out the message here and let's concatenate a space. Now let's pass in the user name. Then we have our icon, which in the case of our user observer will always be a user. And then we have the type, which will not be success, but it will be the type from the parameter. Now inside our create method, you'll probably see an error right now because we're missing two parameters. Now the second one, which will be a string of new user. Then we have our type, so our alert type, which will be success. Now let's make one more user. Let's navigate to Google Chrome, create a new one. Let's name this one new John Doe. The email is new John Doe at hotmail.com. We have a password. Now let's say that it's an admin. Create it. Wait a moment before a notification bell pops up right here you'll see that we have a new user named new John Doe. At the moment, we're still not sure if it works for all users. At the moment, we're logged in as code with Dari. So let's log out. Now let's log in as John Doe. Add a password, click on login, and you do indeed see that we have a notification bell. And right here, it says that a new user named new John Doe and John Doe have both been created. Now with the one line of code that we have inside our created method, we could simply copy paste it and change our arguments from our getNova notification method. Now the second one is the updated, where we want to pass in a message of updated user with a type of info. We have a deleted method, so whenever a user gets deleted, we want to say deleted a user named, where the type will be error. Now we could also restore users, so restore where the type is success. Finally, we have our force delete method where we're going to add a message of force deleted user with a type of error. Now let's navigate back to Google Chrome and let's test out a couple. Let's say that we want to edit new John Doe and we want to add spaces. If we update it, Open our notification. Right here, you'll see that we have updated the new John Doe and the icon is blue. Let's say that we want to delete new John Doe. Open our notification. Wait a moment. You'll see a new notification where new John Doe has been deleted. Now this was it for this episode where we dived into notifications in Larval Nova. In the next video, we're going to have a look at images and avatars in Larval Nova. If you do like my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.